What's up everyone, my name is Nena, and as you can see, I've got my hands on a new device that I'm super excited about because it's really pushing the limits in the action camera space. It's packed with all the latest tech and it's really giving some of those bigger names in the industry a run for their money. This is the DJI Osmo Action 3. So let's not waste any time and I'll get this unboxed, then I'll go over some of the main improvements that you'll definitely want to know about. I'll also show you some footage that I recorded just to give you a better idea of what you can expect out of the picture quality. All right, now what you see here is the Action 3 Adventure Combo Pack. And honestly, you should definitely consider getting this bundle because you get some really useful accessories like an extra quick release mount, two more batteries, a battery case, this protective frame, and a selfie stick. Now, if you don't need all this extra stuff, you could go with the standard combo, which is about $100 cheaper. But if you wanna get the full potential out of this camera or any other action camera out there, these different accessories are really gonna help you out. Now, if you've been following this specific camera lineup, from DJI, you know that the Action 3 doesn't look anything like the Action 2. And if you've never actually seen the Action 2, it's basically half the size of the Action 3 and it doesn't have a front or a back screen. So it looks like DJI realized that their customers weren't thrilled with the user experience of the previous gen and they did a complete 180 with the design of this camera. Now the power button is here on the right side and if you look on the other side, there's a little door. And in here is where the micro SD card and the battery go. The record button is on top and on the bottom, there's a small magnetic strip with two latches. And I'll show you what they're used for in just a second. So both the front and the back screen look sharp and they get really bright. And this is super useful when you're outside and you have to see the screen for whatever reason. The front screen is touch sensitive, so you can adjust some of the settings directly on here and you don't have to flip the camera around to the back if you need to quickly change something. Another cool feature is that you have this removable front lens cover. So just in case you end up cracking it somehow, you can easily replace it with a new one for about $20. There's also a thin layer of hydrophobic coating on it, so it does a great job of repelling water, which really helps when you're trying to get those awesome water shots. Now, the magnetic mounting system that was first introduced with the Action 2 is probably the best mounting system in the industry, and it's really such a clever way to mount this camera. You can literally just pop it on and off, and if you have a bunch of these mounts set up in different places, it makes it super fast and easy to move the camera from one mount to the next. Now, the best part is that if you have any mounts that you use with your Action 2, you can use those same mounts with the Action 3. So now you don't have to go off and buy a different set of mounts just because you upgraded to a new camera. But yeah, I love this feature and trust me, you don't realize how useful this really is until you get out there and try it for yourself. Let's jump into some of the specs of the Action 3 and see what we've got going on in here. So they're using the same sensor from the previous gen and that'll get you shooting in 4K up to 120 frames per second. But if you really wanna bump up the frame rate to get that super slow-mo shot, you can shoot all the way up to 240 frames per second, but just keep in mind that you're limited to a 1080p resolution. I do wish that we'd get up to 5.3k, but 4k really should be good enough for most of you. Real quick, if you like this video so far, go hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me, so I just want to say thank you for watching. Now what really made action cameras explode onto the market, it's definitely been their amazing image stabilization. What this does is that it eliminates the need for an external gimbal to get that really smooth image that we're all chasing. So it's really amazing that all the stabilization happens digitally inside of the camera. DJI calls this their Rocksteady 3.0 and it rivals all of the other big names in the game. So if you're walking around and vlogging or mountain biking down a dirt trail, all of your footage is going to be super smooth. Now the Action 3 also has Horizon Steady and what this does is it'll keep your horizon locked even if you turn the camera 360 degrees. One thing that I have to mention are the three virtual lenses that you get with this camera. First, there's the standard D-Warp lens. And you'll see in this clip that it gets rid of any sort of fisheye effect and it's more of a straight on type of shot. I like to use this lens for those point of view shots that I'm looking to capture because it gives me that standard type of viewpoint and focuses most of the viewer's attention on the subject in the video. There's also a wide lens, which gives you a way bigger field of view than the standard lens. This mode is really great for shooting those intense action shots when you want 
someone who's watching to feel like they're right there with you. Now the last lens option you get is the ultra wide and that'll get you a super wide field of view. I use this mode to really show off my environment as much as I can, but honestly, it's hard to get any practical use cases for this type of shot and you really got to know how to use the camera to get the shot just right. Another thing I should mention is the battery life. You always want to have spare batteries with any camera that you use, but I was surprised that I made it through a whole day of shooting with the Action 3 and I didn't have to swap out the battery. Keep in mind, I was mostly shooting highlight type of videos, so a quick burst here and there, and I normally don't use action cameras for any long form content, but if you do, you'll probably need to swap out the battery at some point, especially if you're shooting in one of the higher resolutions. One more thing with the battery is that it charges up to 80% in just about 18 minutes, so you don't have to sit around waiting to get that extra juice when your battery dies on you. Now there's one area where the Action 3 struggles in, and that's its ability to shoot in low light settings. You're probably never going to get any really great footage when there's not enough light, so if you're planning on using this camera when the lighting isn't optimal, just don't count on it doing a great job. You'll see in this video that there's a ton of noise in it, and I personally just don't find myself using any footage that looks like this, so definitely keep this in mind. This camera captures its very best footage outdoors when there's a ton of natural light for the sensor to work with, and most of you are going to use this camera outdoors getting those cool looking action shots, so it makes sense that this is where it performs best. One quick tip that I want you to keep in mind with this camera or with any other camera really is this. Make sure you dial in the camera settings for the specific type of shot that you're trying to capture. If you don't do this and you're just out there winging it, you're probably going to be disappointed with your footage. Although DJI made it really easy to use this camera so you don't really have to worry about it, you should definitely take some time to learn when and where to use these different types of settings. It's going to take you a ton of trial and error to get everything dialed in perfectly, but trust me, it's totally worth it when you're watching that super crispy footage. So after all this, if you think that the Action 3 is the right camera for you, what's it going to cost you? At the time of shooting this video, the standard combo will run you $330. Now I do think the price is spot on if you're considering the total package that you get with the Action 3, especially if you're comparing it to something like the GoPro Hero 11. You don't get the 5.3K resolution or some of the other bells and whistles that come with the Hero 11, but the Action 3 is much more affordable than the GoPro, and you're definitely still getting a really solid action camera. You can also pick up the Adventure Combo that I unboxed for you, and that'll run you $430, which I honestly think is an absolute steal if you're already thinking about getting this camera. So if you don't need the absolute best-in-class image quality, but you want a camera that's a great GoPro alternative and something that you'll be really happy with, the Action 3 is most definitely the one for you. Now, if you have any specific questions about this camera or any other action cameras out there, just drop your question in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to you. Also, if you've enjoyed this review, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.